Because we're, what we're looking for is what is this, what is love? Right? What is it really? Right? So is love just attraction? Is that just love? Is that what love is, attraction? I think anybody that's actually have experienced something deeper knows whether well, may, love may express itself through attraction, but attraction itself, not necessarily love either. So then we keep going. You get a little closer into the heart of what, what is this thing called love? It, it, it's not something I can necessarily give a nice description of. To me, love is when you see trying to keep away from overly spiritual spiritual words because it's always described that way um, love is that connection that can exist completely independently of anything else it can express itself through all the means that we are taught but love itself exists completely on its own. In that sense, it's a totally pure, simple, beautiful thing. It's a certain kind of recognition. A certain quality of a recognition. Seeing something in the other. Maybe even seeing that there isn't another. Right? Seeing that there isn't another in another. Seeing the seeing that which is beautiful in another. And I don't mean the looks of the other. That's a type of beauty too. That can be nice. But seeing the beauty in that. Do you know what I mean? In the same way you can see the beauty of a of a beautiful sunflower yeah. and you can see the beauty of a dead dead sunflower crampled on the ground. And they both have they both have the beauty in them. Do you know what I mean? One has the exterior beauty, but there's a deeper beauty. It falls, it's dying, it's dead. There's still a beauty to it. Do you know, I think love is like one of those things, if it's described too, too, too accurately, it's, we lose something about it. 